The Nelson Pioneer Farm has been waiting for a little snow to host an old-fashioned sleigh ride, and thanks to the storm this week, it may be able to make plans. While waiting, curator Amy Hay has been keeping busy. CRI reporter John Hoffman visited her at the historic farm earlier this week. The Nelson Pioneer Farm is closed for the winter season, but curator Amy Hay still has a lot to do. She's working on cataloging the museum's collection of about 8,000 artifacts and properly storing them. I have here acid-free folders and acid-free boxes. and we got Both help keep the artifacts from deteriorating or turning yellow, like this. This is uh, just a historic book, and it dates from the 1880s. The cataloging and storing could take years to finish, but several grants have allowed for the hiring of an assistant so this I summer, new computer software, just, just and supplies that will hopefully speed up the process. This is one of the pieces that we need to number and catalog. How do we catalog this item? Mm -hmm. For example, a bottle that we have here from Buxton, Iowa. When an object comes in from a donor, it's first accessioned. And accessioning is transfer of legal title. So the transfer of legal title is done through a deed of gift. And then um, an object is given a number. Acrylic is added to a piece, and then a reference number is added to that acrylic. Name an object, we do research about it, we measure it, we describe it so that if the number falls off it, mm -hmm. we can still find it by description. A cannonball, Native American axe, and this 1863 Mahaska County dress that was recently donated to the museum are just a few items yes. to be cataloged. Um, boning in it to stiffen it. And at that time, modern boning's made out of plastic. This would have really been made out of um, Berlin. Amy is also planning docent training. A docent is basically a teacher, and wearing the clothing from the era is just another way to help teach. Standing in front of the 1853 Nelson House is docent Linda Glandon in her 1857 replica dress. We want the people who come here, uh, the kids in the school groups in particular, to see as accurately as possible what people really did and were wearing. Field trips for students will happen in April, May, and September. Well, that's just a few of the things that are going to be going on at the Nelson Pioneer Farm this year. There's lots of cool things to check out like this map of Mahaska County from 1859. And I think the CRI would be about right there. For CRI Weekly News, I'm John Hoffman. The Pioneer Farm will be hosting docent training this month, Sunday the 22nd at 2 p.m. or Tuesday the 24th at 6 p.m. If you'd like to donate or volunteer at the museum, you can call 641-672-2989 or visit nelsonpioneer.org. The Nelson Pioneer Farm opens up for the season in May.